Here we are. It's Thanksgiving week. I just can't believe that we're already at uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, Thanksgiving Day begins the holiday season and it gives us an opportunity to be grateful. I am grateful uh, for my team here at Financial Freedom Wealth Management Group. I am grateful for all of our clients that trust us and partner with us to help them pursue financial freedom. And what I thought I wanted, I'm Julia Carlson, by the way, I'm CEO and founder here at Financial Freedom Wealth Management Group. And what I wanted to share is uh, maybe spark some different ideas around having gratitude with your money. You know, when you think about gratitude and your money, what comes to mind? You know, when I think about this Thanksgiving week, I think about, you know, going to the store and buying groceries and and having a beautiful warm home to welcome family into. Uh, it's having enough money to cover all of the needs that uh, my family has and maybe some of our wants. Uh, you know, I think it's it, it, can, it means different things uh, to all of us. And gratitude, I think, can also benefit our finances tremendously. So I wanted to give you three different ways uh, that you can think about gratitude and money uh, this Thanksgiving week. So number one, focus on all that you have instead of what you don't. You know, one of the best ways gratitude can help us improve our finances is taking the importance away from away from the things that you want to buy. You know, if we're constantly in this lack mindset or I don't have everything that I want, that scarcity, it, it, it brings on more of that and it doesn't help us create this attitude of gratitude. So when you focus on what you do have and why you are grateful for it, like really get into the emotions of why you're grateful, not just saying thank you, but like, what does that provide for you? What are those emotions? How does it make you feel? Is it, is it joyful? Is it contentment? Is it simplicity? Like those are all things of focusing on all the goodness that, that money doesn't buy. <laughs> and it actually decreases your desire for wanting more. And you spend less money and you ultimately will have more to save and give. Okay, so number two, what matters most to you? When you take time for thinking about gratitude and focusing on what matters most to you and your loved ones, you realize what your true priorities are. Overspending uh, usually occur occurs when you are in a rush, when you're overwhelmed, when you're not really being intentional and thinking about things or maybe just kind of checked out and unaware. I know when I run to the store and I'm in a hurry or I'm, I don't plan ahead, I don't have a list, I'm throwing things into the basket, right, into the shopping cart. I'm just like not really paying attention. and. The more that we can bring intentionality into our uh, spending money, so whether that be groceries, whether that be you know holiday gift giving, um, all of those spending decisions we have, the more you can be intentional with it, the less apt you are to waste money. Uh, the you know you're not going to have things that go away. You know I, I'm so guilty of this. Like you know in my fridge, I don't really plan ahead for meal planning, and then I'm throwing things out because they go bad. So. If I put a little bit more planning ahead of time, I can, I can um, have less waste in the end. Okay, so number three, charitable giving. Yes, this is the time of the year uh, where giving and gratitude just really go hand in hand. And when you are grateful and when you think about all the things that you have, it's much easier to turn around and bless others and to give to others. So I would encourage you as we go into this holiday season, how can you give back to your communities? What organization is doing good work that you wanna support? It doesn't have to be a lot, like, like every little bit counts. And that charitable giving like creates this spirit in us that um, feels good and, and it's sharing that in our community. So I hope this inspires a different mindset uh, around uh, your finances as we head into this uh, Thanksgiving holiday and the holiday season. 
Uh, I hope that these uh, tips can give you um, give you some uh, thoughts to think about money with an attitude of gratitude. So from all of us here at Financial Freedom Wealth Management Group, we wish you a very happy Thanksgiving and a uh, awesome holiday season coming up. Goodbye, everyone.